ten of us have been abducted by aliens because they view us as being representative of the human race. And what they're going to do is they're going to test us to see if the human race is worthy of joining the intergalactic council of planets. And if we're not, they're going to kill us all and, and turn Earth into a, a mushroom farm because that's their oil. So they take us together in their spaceship, and they say, you ten represent uh, all of humanity, and the, re and the fate of humanity rests in your hands. So we will give you a test. And the test is tomorrow. We're going to put 24 hours from right now, we're going to put y'all all in a completely dark room and line y'all up one behind the other. So if this is one guy, let me see if I can draw. So if this is the guy in the front, he's, I don't know, he is looking a little worried. Someone described me as the Bob Ross of mathematics, so I'll attempt to do a little Bob Ross work right here. So this would be the first of us. You know, he has a business tie on and whatever. He's facing this in this direction. And then there's 10 more of them. So instead of redrawing that, let me just copy and paste it. We all look mysteriously similar to each other. That's the second one. And the third one. There's 10 of us like this. I'll do one more. Uh, ten like that. Uh, you could kind of say, oh, that's good enough. There's ten of us, and we're essentially lined front, lined up front to back, so that you know this guy, all he sees is the back of this guy's head, and he can also see the back of this guy's head. Maybe there's a slight incline, so that there, you know, maybe the the floor is like this. Let me see if I could draw it. The floor, the floor is at a slight tilt, so one guy is standing right here, another guy is standing right here, another guy is standing right here. There's ten of us in a line. We're all facing in that direction. All this guy can see is all this guy right here can see is the wall. This guy can see the two guys in front of him. This guy can see the one guy in front of him. And there's 10 of them. It goes all the way back to 10. So what they tell us is we're going to line you up like this. They even draw a nice diagram like this because they they want us to give us a they want to give us a fair chance of preventing Earth from turning into a mushroom farm. And they say while the room is completely pitch dark, we're going to p place a hat on each of your heads. And the hat will either be I don't know, mauve Mauv, mauv, so this would be a mauv hat, or they'll be magenta. They'll be green. So you'll either get a mauv or a green hat on your on the back of your head, and the hat will be designed in such a way it won't have a big rim, so that you can't look up and see your hat. It is, it, you know, this is alien technology, so it's completely impossible to see the hat on your own head. And the distribution of the hats will be random. It could be all green hats. It could be all, well, I'll say purple, because I'm not quite sure how to pronounce mauve. mauve. So it, it could be all purple hats. It could be half purple, half green. It could be nine green and one purple. They don't know. It could be any combination of hats. And what they're going to do, and they tell us all of this, is that they're going to start with the person in the back. So they're going to start with, let me, so if these are the, you know, this is the front wall, this is the floor. This is the first guy right here, second guy, third guy, fourth guy, fifth guy, sixth guy, seven, eight, nine. So this is the tenth guy. They're all faced in that direction. They're going to start with this guy right here. This guy right here and say, what color is the hat on your head? And, if, and he'll answer either mauve or purple. I mean, he'll either say purple or green. And I guess mauve is well. No, he can only say purple or green. I have to be I have to be exact here. He can he'll he can only be, say purple or green, and he has to say it. Well, he can say it as loud as he wants, but he has to say it at a, at a at an even tone so that not not more information can be conveyed other than the fact that he thinks his hat is purple or green. Although this guy is close enough that he can hear it. Everyone's going to hear what everyone's going to say, but there's no intonation you can say. And if you're right. If you say my hat is purple and you are wearing a purple hat, you will live. And the 600 million people that you represent will also live, and where they live will not be turned into a mushroom farm. Now, if you're wrong, then they will immediately, you know, uh, what, what, what is that Star Trek weapon? Displace you, and they'll also turn all the people where all the land. They'll do it to all of the people you represent and turn all of their land into mushroom farms. So there's a huge incentive to try to get this right. So say, we're going to do this tomorrow. And your goal, obviously, is to try to save as many lives as you can. And so we're going to put you in a room, and you guys can discuss this for the next 24 hours to come up with a system so that when we put you in the dark room and we put the hats on each of your heads, 
we'll put, oh, I shouldn't be drawing brown hats. It's either going to be, we put the hats on your head, and then turn on the lights. Oh, I have to, forgot to tell you that. They're, they're going to put us in the dark room. You can't see anything. We're all lined up. Then they're going to turn on the lights. And so then this, then they're going to ask, guy, what color is the hat on your head? He obviously can't look at his own head, but he'll see everyone else's hats. And likewise, this guy, he can't see his own hat, and he can't see the guy behind him, but he'll hear what this guy says, and he can see all of the hats in front of him. So they'll turn on the lights, and then after this guy, if he's right, he lives. If he's wrong, he'll be displaced. And then they'll go to the guy up the next guy, and then ask him if he's right, he lives, and all the people he represent live. If he's wrong, he also will get displaced. And they'll keep going all the way up to the first guy. So our goal, to essentially save civilization, or at least human civilization, is to come up with a system to save as many of us as possible. To, and, and So that's the first take of the brain teaser. So if, if you want to kind of pause it right here. And now, actually, before you pause it, let me just clarify. You know, you can't, all you can say is either purple or green. No intonations. You can't say purple or purple to kind of convey any type of information. All you can say is purple or green, or, or pronounce it in some weird way. And, um, and there's no you know, weird trick where you can kind of look with the side of your eyes or anything like this. This is, you have to do it completely based on uh, what you hear and what you say. And if the aliens catch any hint of you guys trying to kind of cheat, or all of us, I'm one of us, uh, to cheat this, they'll just evaporate everything and turn everything into, into mushroom farms. So that's the problem statement. How do you save as many people as possible? And if you want to pause now, feel free to do so. And now I'll give you kind of a small hint, because this doesn't help you. It's easy to think of a lot of solutions that might save a couple of people. But there's actually a solution that will guarantee saving nine people. So that's the solution that you, ca- you have to come with, up with. And feel free to, I'm, for the rest of this video, I'm essentially just going to keep giving hints and then eventually give you the solution. So the goal is actually really to save nine people. And you can imagine which nine people it's going to be. And for, once again, pause it if you don't want any more hints. It's going to be these nine people. These nine people are guaranteed to be safe saved. And this guy, obviously, is just going to be guessing. He's the first guy to be asked what color his hat is. He has no information. He can see the people in front of him, but he has absolutely no information as to what color this hat is. So he just guesses. So there's a 50% chance that he's right, assuming, you know, w- without any other information, we assume that there's a 50-50 chance that your ha- the, the hat on the top of your head is a, uh, a, a purple or a green one. So, you know, your expected number of people you're going to save is nine and a half. With, with the system. And so these people, you have to come up with it where these people are guaranteed, guaranteed to be saved. And so, you know, there's a couple of things that are more probabilistic that don't quite get you there that might come to mind immediately. And once again, stop this video because it's fun to kind of think of these yourself. But, you know, this guy might, this guy might just look at the number of, um, this guy might just see, okay, how many green hats are there and how many purple hats are there? And then whichever there are more of, he might say, oh, my hat is, let's say there's six purple and uh, three green in front of him. He might say, my hat is purple. And just, you know, he's either right or wrong, and he might get displaced. But at least he'll convey that information to the rest of the group that, hey, the majority of the hats are purple, so you're better off guessing purple than green. And it'll save at least six of these people, because they'll all guess purple. And that's OK. And in this situation, you're guaranteed to save more than half of these nine people. So you're guaranteed to save at least five of these nine people. And then probabilistically, maybe you can get up to seven or, or eight. Um, then there's the other method is for every, um, well, there's a, there's a ton of them. I don't want to go into them because I realize I'm out of time. So here is the real, the real deal solution. So really pause it and wait and watch it tomorrow unless you don't want the solution. The guy in front, or the guy in the back, what he does, so there are a bunch of people, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people, and they're all wearing hats. What he does, and remember, we have 24 hours to come up with a system. So everyone is in the system, and, and we don't know who's going to be in what order also. That's the other thing. But that actually doesn't help or hurt you much anyway. So the guy in the back, what he does is he counts, he counts the number of, of green or purple hats. 
right? So he counts the num- This is the system we come up with, and so this is true of whoever is in the back. Whoever is in the back has to do this, right? So if he counts that the number of if he if he counts that the number of green, let's say this is our system. He says he counts the green actually only. So count the green, and he determines that the number of green is an odd number. If he determines that the number of green that he sees in front of him is an odd number, then he is going to say green for the guess on his, the top of his head. If the number of green is an even number, is an even number, he's going to say purple. And of course, he doesn't know what his hat color is, but at least, well, one, he, he has a 50-50 chance of saving himself. But now what happens? Now, by giving this information to the rest of the group, by screaming green or purple, if he screams green, if this guy screams green, right, my hat is green, then this guy, who's the next guy in line, the next guy to be quizzed, knows that the person behind him saw an odd number of green hats. This guy saw an odd number of green hats. Now this is interesting. If he counts the number of green in front of him, and he also sees an odd number of green hats, then that means that he was not one of the green hats that this guy saw. So he must be a purple hat, right? So he'll just say, I have a purple hat, and he will live, right? And then you'll go to this guy. You'll go to this guy. And let's go to the other situation. Let's say that you know this guy, he screamed green, which means that he saw an odd number of green hats in front of him. If this guy counts the green hats in front of him, and of the eight people in front of him, and he says, wow, there's only an even number of green hats, he could say, wow, I must have a green hat. And so then he'll say green, and then he'll be right. Likewise, this guy, this guy, we'll say the situation where this, the first situation that I said, this guy has a purple hat on, right? So this guy saw an odd number of green hats. He screamed green. And so this guy, he also sees an odd number of green hats, because he's not one of the green hats. So he says purple, he lives. This guy, this guy all of a sudden, and because this guy said purple, and he lived, I mean, you didn't hear any uh, buzzer. And actually, you know he's going to live, because the system will work. Right? He knows that the uh, that there must be an odd number of green hats from him down forward, right? Because this guy didn't say green. So if he knows that there's an odd number of green hats from him down forward, and if he sees an even number of green hats, right? He knows that he must be one of the green hats. So he'll say green. And in that situation, this guy, if this guy screamed green, then that means that. This guy saw an odd number of green hats from here on down. And one of these guys behind him, or every time someone behind you says green after that, then the number of green hats that are, that are, um, that are odd or even in front of that person will change. And so they kind of keep having to keep track of that in their minds to figure out if the hats in front of them are going to be green or purple. Actually, let me give an example, because that's probably the easiest way. So there's one, two. Actually, let me just do it with a, in a neutral color so I don't waste time. So let's say the hats are green, purple, purple, green, green, purple, green, green. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. So we said if you so this guy, you go to the first guy right here and you say, and so he counts. He says, okay, how many greens are there? There's one, two, three, four, five. There are five greens, so the greens are odd. The greens are odd, which says that he is going to say green. That's the system we come up with. So when they go up to this guy, he says green, and he's wrong, so he actually gets eliminated. And maybe the aliens were willing to give us a pass on the first guy, but let's say he gets eliminated. But he said green, so now all of so then this guy on down knows that in front of that guy there was an odd number of green hats. Now this guy, he looks he looks forward and he counts one, two, three, four, 
five green hats. So he also sees an odd number of green hats. So he knows that he must not have a green hat. Because if he had an, a green hat, then it would turn the number of green hats that he saw into an even. So he doesn't have a green hat. He says, I have a purple hat. And he lives. He lives. Now this guy, he counts the number of green hats in front of him. One, two, three, four green hats. He says, gee, I only see an even number of green hats. Up until this guy, he saw an odd number of green hats. I must be a green hat. So he says green. Check. Now this guy's turn. So first of all, how, he knows how many green hats this guy saw. He knows that this guy saw exactly four green hats. Because if this guy had seen five green hats, he would have said purple. So this guy knows that this guy saw four green hats. But he saw he sees only one, two, three green hats. Right? So he knows that he must be one of the green hats. So every so he, he screams green. So check. So then this guy knows, wow, there must be only three green hats from him on down, because this guy must have seen three green hats. If he saw four, he would have said purple. So that guy uses that same logic to say, okay, there must be three green hats from me on down. I see three green hats, so I must not have one of them. I must be purple. And you just keep on going down all the way until everyone answers correctly. And you save at least nine people and the bulk of humanity. And if you give a pass on, on the first guy, you save all of humanity. Anyway, I hope you found that one enjoyable. This is one of my favorite uh, brain teasers. And I, I apologize, because I realized when I was trying to explain it without the example, it maybe have gotten a little might have gotten a little confusing, but hopefully this this example um, explains things a little bit better. Although it might see be confusing to see green and purple written in blue. See you in the next video.